All right. So today in this video, I'm going to introduce our all-in-one proxy and scraping platform called as ABC proxy. So this platform has literally got everything that you will need. Of course, you can find almost all the different kind of proxies for different use cases like residential proxies, data center proxy, static proxy, or even mobile proxy. And that's not even the cool part. This platform has got some cool scraper tools as well. For example, we have SERP API, web unlocker, scraper browser, and even video downloaded tools as well. And today in this video, I'll introduce all about ABC proxy and also all the different services offered by them. I mean, there's a lot to talk about the platform. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is the official website of ABC proxy. And the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and you will land on this page right here. So abcproxy.com. And now as soon as you land on the homepage itself, you'll be able to find complete details of all the services that they offer. So mainly they offer two services. They are the proxy services and also scraper services. So in the proxy section, as you can see, they have a variety of different services like residential proxies, unlimited residential proxies, dedicated data center proxies. Then we have Soxify proxies, then static residential proxies and even mobile proxies. And now if I move over to the scraper section right here, as you can see here, we have SERP API, video downloader, scraping browser and even web unlocker. And as you can see, web scraper API is soon to come. So the first thing that you got to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description below and click on the start now button and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And now once you log in, you'll be taken to the overview page or the dashboard and you can find and manage all your proxies from here. So here we have two options. They are get proxy and scraper. So we have proxies and also these advanced APIs like web unlocker, SERP API and all that. First of all, if I click on this get proxy button right here, I'll be able to purchase and configure all these proxies. And for example, let's say I want a residential proxy. Now, all I got to do is to click on this first option right here, that is residential proxy plan. And now if I scroll down, I'll be able to configure all these details. Like first of all, we need to select the region. That is from which country do you want it? For example, let's say I'm looking for a proxy from USA. So I can go ahead and type in my country. In your case, if you want to, let's say, want a proxy from a different region or country, you can go ahead and select it from here. And next up, you can go ahead and select proxy like city and state wise or even ISP wise. For example, let's say I want a proxy from a specific, uh, let's say state and city. I can select this first option right here and then I can go ahead and select the state. For example, let's say Iowa. Oops, let's say Florida and then I can select a city from here. For example, let's say Miami and then I can go ahead and take it that way. But let's say you want a proxy from a specific ISP or internet service provider. You can click on this drop down menu and select the ISP option. And now you'll be able to find all these ISPs and select the one. For example, here we have a lot of this one. So for example, let's say you want from AT&T, you can click this option right here, AT&T. And then you can go ahead and create a user, input the username, password, and that should be it. And now as soon as you click on this generate button right here, you will be able to create a proxy right within this interface right here. And before that, obviously you will need to have some balance left in your account. So for that, you can click on this recharge button right here, which will take you to the recharge uh, page right here. So I can click on recharge and here I'll be able to add some balance to my account. Okay. So in this case, residential proxies, and you can find all these plans in here. So depending on whether you want a conventional plan or let's say an enterprise plan, you can set that. And for example, let's say I want this plan for 30 days. So I can select 30, click on order now. And now it will take me to this payment page right here where I can pay by Alipay, credit card, crypto, debit card, and even ABC wallet. So once you have the necessary balance, you can head back to this page right here, configure all these details and purchase and add the proxy to your account. And then you can get all your credentials for the proxy and start using it right away. And the process is pretty similar whether you are about to let's say get a static residential proxy, unlimited plan, dedicated data center proxies, or even mobile proxies. So all you got to do is to select the region, the mode, and you can configure the username and password in here, generate the proxy and start using it right away. And now if I move over to this OAuth account management section right here, I'll be able to find all my account details and even edit the same. And in fact, if you want to, let's say, add a new account for a different purpose, you can add this account, input the account name, password. If wanted, you can limit the traffic and then you can go ahead and add the same as well. So basically that is how you purchase and set up a proxy from ABC proxy. And as you can see in this proxy section right here, here we have residential proxies that is SOX5 and you can find all these usage statistics and details from here. And if you want to, you can also go ahead and download the ABC proxy manager and then install it on your computer. And it is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. And then you can go ahead and start using it via the ABC proxy manager. 
for example let's say you are managing let's say 100 or 200 different proxy and you want a centralized platform where you can manage all of that well you can go ahead and download the abc proxy manager and starting using it right away and now as you go through each of these different type of proxies you'll be able to find all these statistics as to how much data you consumed the number of connections and all other details you'll be able to find all that from here next up if i move over to the scraper section right here this is my personal favorite part and as you can see abc proxy actually have a good number of different you know apis for different use cases like scraper apis first of all we have serp api then we have video downloader then we have scraping browser and then also web unlocker for example let's say i want to scrape some website like google like search engines like google bing yahoo or maybe let's say walmart.com all that you can actually use the serp api right here so for example let's say i want to scrape the listings from the first page of google for a specific keyword now all i got to do is to open the serp api and then i can go ahead and select the website so as you can see they support a wide variety of them like google bing yahoo duckduckgo walmart youtube and all that so i'll select google and then let's say search and now i can go ahead and input my search term in here playstation 5 and then i can go ahead and configure all these parameters like the specific geolocation the country the device the language i mean you can go ahead and configure all of that in here and now once all of that is done you can click on this button right here submit request to simulate a serp api request from the dashboard here so in here you can find the preview towards the right side in the output preview section and this is how the page looks as you search playstation 5 on google and towards the left side you can find the scraped results or the output and it contains all these the title the link i mean everything is neatly organized and you can start using it and we can find pretty much all these and now if i move over to this request code section right here you'll be able to find the api integration guide or the code snippet for HTTP, Python, JavaScript, Java, Go, and even C Sharp. Okay, so you can find it. For example, let's say you're working on a JavaScript project. You can select this one. You can find all these details in here. Put in your API details like the API key and the params. That is all these. As okay, for example, let me just go ahead and put some details in here. And now, as I put all these, you know, uh, parameters in here, the same is updated in this section right here. And now I can copy and start using in the application that I'm developing. And now they support a good number of websites, including Google, Bing, Yahoo, and all that. And also different type of search results like search, shopping, local videos, news, even YouTube. Wow, that's actually great. And next up, if you want to, let's say, download videos, for example, from YouTube, you can go and move to the video downloader section, put in your API key and this video ID, and you can submit the request and you can go ahead and download all these videos. And now if you want to, let's say, scrape pretty much any website out there, you can move over to the scraping browser section right here and you can input all these details and then start scraping and now if you're looking for a much advanced scraping solution you can move over to this web unlocker uh, section right here for example let's say you want to scrape content from a highly complex website with a lot of these you know the website that usually bans your ip after repeated attempts or let's say you want to fetch some content like scrape some content but it's behind let's say a captcha so okay in such cases, you can go ahead and use the web unlocker from ABC proxy and you can select the region. You can go ahead and select all these state, city or ISP and configure it. And you can start using this web unlocker thing. And now the cool thing is that let's say there is a website from where you want to scrape content and the proxy or let's say the scraper that you're about to use needs to go ahead and bypass a captcha. Well, all you need is web unlocker. So based on the details like the URL and all of the details that you provide, the web unlocker, once you set it up, the, it can actually go ahead and bypass the captcha and fetch or let's say scrape all the data that you need so if that's what you're looking for you can go ahead and use web unlocker and you can find the implementation and the code snippet for python node.js go java c plus plus and all that from here and now you can copy it and create a new you know setup and get the api key username details and put that in here and you can start using it right away and now if you want a detailed guide as to let's say how to implement serp api vd downloader scraper browser or even web unlocker or any of these proxies into an application that you're developing you can go ahead and click on this developer option right here and go through the documentation page and i have to say this they have a really good documentation that you can refer to for example let's say i want to use the google serp api and let's say the google local api so they have a good documentation in here that you can refer to and you can find all the output format, the response body, the parameters and all that. And you can start implementing the same into your application. So that's all about ABC proxy. So if you're looking for a proxy solution, which includes a variety of different proxy services and also scraper APIs right out of the box, then ABC proxy is for you. And a SERP API, video downloader, scraper browser, web unlocker and all that. 
So it's all available right out of the box. So all you gotta do is to head over to the first link in the description below, sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away. And now the cool thing is that you get proxies and scrapers in one platform and also their extensive documentation helps you to sort of help you integrate the same into your application as well. And not just that, you can also go ahead and use ABC Proxies Proxy Manager to manage all your proxies using a really nice GUI. So as you can see, you can go, go to this page right here and download the Proxy Manager and you can start using it right away. So you can access it in the cloud, Windows, Mac OS and Linux as well. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you about ABC Proxy. So if you want to, let's say, access any of these proxies or scraper APIs uh, for your application for or any other use case, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below, sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away. And the even cooler part is that you can even go ahead and access a free trial for the same, all right? So even before paying, you, you'll get to experience how it works and what are all the features that it has to offer and you can take it for a spin and then go ahead and purchase the same. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.